much it's such a pleasure to meet you and um, now what I loved most about this was that I got to relive those kind of iconic moments in Irish history and you know I feel like this was the first time my generation were part of something real and tangible we changed society and that's what was amazing for me to relive that but when you were watching it back what was the kind of the most emotionally charged part for you to see back again for me, it was the ball and robe stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, you know, it's hard for me to watch it because I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, I don't like my hair there. Oh my God, I forgot <laughs> I used to own that dress. Oh my God, I wouldn't wear that dress now. Or you know, whatever, I'm just like that. Yeah. Um, but the ball and robe parts, which were the last things we filmed, I think, where they were close to, um, you know, my mother's in it, my dad, and you know, that whole, well, that whole day um, was, I don't know, emotionally big for me. So to see that, yeah, that was the part I enjoyed the most. Not that I didn't enjoy every part. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Connor? Uh, I still, every time I watch us going into Dublin Castle on mm. the day of the result, you know, the heart swells up. It's a, uh, it, it really, it, it was a very, very emotional time. And I think everybody there, it didn't matter if you were working, didn't matter what, what reason you were there for, yeah. it, everybody was just really caught up in that particular moment. Connor, I suppose when you first kind of took on the task of creating this film, did it turn out in any way like you thought it would? If there was going to be any kind of fight to do with equality, we figured that Rory would be right in the centre of it, and so that was something that we kind of knew from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Exactly how big it became and how much it played out, we had no idea yeah. until it happened. While I breathe life into Panty, she breathed more life into me. And look at me. I'm dressed as a giant woman. I'm the gayest thing in the world. Well, I think when Connor first asked me about doing it, I was reluctant. Um, but I eventually said, okay, only because it's Connor and I've known Connor for many years and we've done lots of things together. And so I sort of trusted him and I kind of thought, well, it'll definitely look pretty. <laughs> you know, um, but I think for, well, I anyway, for the first two and a half years, three years, I thought it was going to be a small little character documentary. How did this happen? It's nuts. Nuts. You know, I never really knew what Connor's plan was, and I never asked him. Which actually was a remarkable thing. I've made films about other people in the past, other documentary films, and they're always very interested in what are you doing, and why yeah. are you doing it, and what are you going to do next? And Rory was just, he just trusted us, yeah. you know, and just said, OK, it's your film. You know, we're going to ask him to do various things, and he said yes, gladly to everything, until, of course, we asked him to walk down the street and pound rope wearing a dress, yeah. which was a little more That's what I wanted to ask you, something. yeah, because you were initially, when you were asked to do that, you were like, oh no, I can't do that. But at what point did you feel like, do you know what, I can do this, and it would be great? Well, I guess it's not that I felt that I couldn't do it, but I felt that I didn't want to do it. <laughs> um, because um, it's a sort of a terrifying prospect. And it's this town that I have this weird, you know, funny relationship or a sort of tension-filled relationship with over the years, and when I was a teenager and all of that. And then to be going back to that same town dressed as a giant cartoon woman, the gayest thing in the world, it's just <laughs> it's a weird thing to do. And it definitely, I was like kind of dreading it. But he asked me to do it, and then I thought, well, I can understand from his point of view as a director, that would be a good thing for the documentary. But then I also thought, it's a bit like a bungee jump or something. That it, I felt, I figured that no matter what happened afterwards, I would look back and think it was a good thing to do. Yeah. But I was dreading it right up to it. And finally, what's going to be next for both of you? Um, what's the next for you, Connor? Uh, I'm working on a love story, a, a drama. Very nice. Yeah. Wonderful. Hopefully, it'll be in the cinema screens before too long. Brilliant. <clears throat> and yourself? I'm starring in a love story in a drama. <laughs> <laughs> um, in real life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you before we get started. I'm crapping it.